You mentioned um, the Game of Thrones prequel already, actually, but I was, I was thinking that might be particularly exciting for you, of course, given your kind of, um, I bet it you know, reminds you of your work on Thronecast. Are you kind of really looking forward to that? I bet you are. Yeah. Yeah. Really, I'm really looking forward to it. I, I, you know, I've, I have such such fond memories of, of working on that show and spending time on the set and you know with the with the cast and you know it was a dream it was it was literally it was the best job I've ever ever had and but mainly because I was such a huge fan of the show anyway yeah, of yeah, Game yeah, yeah. of Thrones so you know I am front of the queue for this one you know I I, I can't wait to see what they're going to do with it I love the fact that we don't know anything about it that the, 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 there isn't this book fraternity versus the tv fraternity that you know it's we're discovering it a whole new world all at the same time but in a universe that we know we love you know so i i can't wait i can't wait i love to see that um yeah matt smith's in it as well that's a particular yeah, yeah. a big and fan Penny of his, yeah 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 I mean, great actor fantastic the ca- all of the cast just look perfectly perfectly cast yeah, fantastic. And, and you also mentioned uh, Spider Man. What did you think of the uh, of the big kind of reveal in that? <laughs> oh my goodness me! Well, I, right. Here's a question for you. Um, we can't give spoilers away for Spider Man yet. I don't think. I think it's still too soon. I know it's scary, isn't um, it? It's, it's difficult yeah. to kind of say too with, much. But with you know, I think it's coming onto Sky very very soon. Anyway, in fact, before before it goes anywhere else. But I think you know we won't give the secret away. But Spider Man's been a huge part of the East household for the best part of you know 20 years 25 years since the first toby Maguire with my eldest son who's now 28 right down to this one um with tom holland with my youngest who's 13 and so seeing those moments in the in the in the latest film were just incredibly emotional it was just brilliant it, we love it and a shame in kind of marvel and star wars fans yeah it's it, it just brilliant and again it's just that unifying um, that that beautiful unification of watching something that everybody is into, you yeah, know, yeah, it's just yeah. it's just yeah, great. Yeah. Yeah, it's fantastic. I was, I what kind of stuff what... are you into? What, what are you oh, into? You're a I, do- I absolutely... documentary guy, a drama guy? I'm a massive fan of Marvel and Star Wars, to be honest. I'm right with you there. That's probably my my go-to is always stuff like that. I just love kind of fantasy, sci-fi. Um, I like a bit of horror as well. I do like a bit of horror. Um, well, yeah. neat segue there. I've got a couple of good horror recommendations. Oh, yeah, go out. for it. Okay, so Midwich Cuckoo uh, comes out on Sky uh, in May. That stars Keely Hawes and Max Beasley. It is created by the same team that did The Night Manager, to give you some idea of the the kind of quality of the cast and and that lot. But it's based based on a classic sci-fi novel by James Wyndham, um, whereby it's a town called Midwich, and all of the female residents all drop unconscious at the same time, simultaneously just fall to the floor and are out cold. And when they all come to, they're all at the duff, they're all pregnant, which is as, as weird as that sounds. It gets weirder because fast forward a few years, all of the, all of the children that, that were created from that event, there's something deeply unsettling about them. Oh, it's, right. it's yeah, 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 yeah. A little bit end Night Shyamalan, it got a bit of sixth sense kind of like, you know that kind of chilling eerie feeling that, that oh, you, yeah, yeah, you nice. like so that's coming out maybe before then there's one called the rising that's coming out which is i guess a creepier version of ghost it's about a about a young lady called nev campbell who is uh who's dead but yet she can still walk the earth she can still kind of go into her old house and see her mum and her dad and all the rest of it um but they can't see her and she realises that she's been murdered, yet no one knows. They don't even know where she's gone. So she tries to find ways of showing them where her body is and then trying to work out who killed her herself as well as trying to help the police and, and uncovers some quite incredible secrets about her own life. So, again, to give you some indication, that's the same kind of creepiness, that, that kind of eerie... M. Night Shyamalan kind of feeling as well. So that's coming in March. Oh, nice. Yeah, that, that sounds like right up my street. We actually watched um, some of his work, um, Signs, last night again. I, I love that film. Obviously, quite it's an absolute classic yeah, film. Yeah, you know amazing. what? It's, Signs is brilliant. If you, you know, The Village is my favourite oh, yeah, yeah. M. Night Quality. film. That'll be available. That's on That's on demand. On, you can get that Sky on demand. It is my favourite film of his. 
without a shadow of a doubt. I love that film. Oh, so good. Yeah, I, I thought I actually thought you might be a fan of horror because, of course, uh, I know you've been on. Uh, well, you've done a couple of appearances on Most Haunted Live, haven't you? I mean, that must be that must be, bring <laughs> oh you back God. to that. <laughs> uh, well, you know, that, 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 there are there are many things that are horrific about that. Um, the ghosts weren't one of them. They, uh... <laughs> I'm not a bel- I, I went on there as a as a disbeliever of of the occult and the supernatural, um, and let's just say. I firmly remain a disbeliever, <laughs> yeah. but it was it was such a fun it was a fun night. I did two of them. Uh, I did one with Rylan, and then did another one with Christine Bleakley, and just in, insane evenings, just just nuts. Oh yeah, <laughs> I, I don't blame you at all. That sounds literally so funny. <laughs> yeah, amazing. It, it was. It was. Now, this this might be a tough one because obviously it's always tough off the top of your head. But you, we're kind of talking just very briefly about kind of quotes, favorite quotes. Do you have any kind of top film quotes? I know it's a bit harsh, isn't it? That's off the top of your head, but top film to clear quotes. Ones. Oh my goodness me! I um, mean, is it going to be the classic like "You shall not pass"? Or was that's always an absolutely amazing one, isn't it? Good old Gandalf. That's a great one. I mean, you know, Blade Runner. Um, I've seen things you people wouldn't believe from Rutger Hauer is, oh, yes. <laughs> is is one of them as well. I mean, they're just so many. I mean, roads where we're going, who needs roads? I mean, there's just just too many to choose from. I'm a um, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a child of the eighties, um, so anything that involves the truffle shuffle uh, or you know, uh, Goonies never say die uh, is is right there for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, quality. <laughs> 